do 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 Bing, bada, boom. All right. Hey, it's the jazz. So thank you for the five gifted. My man. Pew. Five gifted in a row. Thank you, man. F uh, F hero. What the tear do? Do it five months. Force and what? All right. We start with Ukraine. Ukraine. Alright. This is terrible. What the fuck is this? What is this moving shit? This is fucking terrible. Wiggle effect. What the fuck? Who thought that was a good idea to put on default? CRT effect. What the fuck are these? Invert. Why not invert the image while you're at it? All right. Continue. Custom. The Explain the blame. What? What? What is this? Nah. Fuck it. Custom for Twitch? Wait, there's a Twitch? There's a Twitch voting thingy? Really? Alright. I don't know what they'll show. I'm gonna alt F4 and restart. Oh my god, it fucking resets. Alright, hang on. Wiggle, CRT, fuck off. Continue. Custom. Play speed, one time fast forward button. No. Alright, Twitch. What is this? Streamer choice. USA Slurin? Okay, how does this work? How does this work? Okay. Streamer choice, viewer choice. Streamer choice, of course. Play speed, 0 0.5. Is that for the viewers? Nah, you have fucking 0 second delay. 1. Do 0 0.85. viewer choice but then it's you playing I don't want to fucking watch someone else play games the fuck then I would be a fucking twitch viewer I'm the one playing but I'm you can override it you c oh, I can override it. Yeah, you know what I wish? I wish they would add a fucking go back button. You, I get the last decision. Okay. 
Okay, okay. I guess I have to restart the fucking game. One more time. Maybe uh, feed me this fucking information at a 1.0 speed and not fucking 0.85 speed and we wouldn't have this fucking problem. Fuck. Uh Okay, fucking wiggle fucking CRT fuck off. I'm not doing this shit again, so you better fucking work custom All right bit connect Okay, it goes to 0 0.5 on default. Uh, what is this uh, player count thingy? Player count Wait one or two One. Oh, it's split screen. Okay, never mind. Uh, fast forward button, I guess. Zero point eighty-five. All right. Streamer choice, viewer choice, and I can over override. I mean, I will. I will. I will be, I will be, if, if we are not aligned, I will be taking my option every time, right, alright. The following game contains adult themes. It does not contain explicit language, sexual content, horror or show violence. Choices matter, so please take your time. Player Does it contain a advised. fucking audio Please level? Please sign your name below, button. showing you understand and agree to endorse every decision you make. speak louder than words true welcome to trolley problem Inc founded to help people travel safely across the nation all our employees must show three core values. respect with that in mind let's start your training all right responsibility integrity and respect there's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the tracks are five people unable to move. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. However, you notice there is a person on the other track. What do you do? So you're just going to do nothing. Well, I guess you're right. The more people who die, the better. Usually we don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day. But we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. Just think a little more before acting. Yeah, cosmetic next time. voting. What the fuck are you voting for? A. You agree with 67.25% of players worldwide. You agree with Red Graves. Who the fuck is Red Graves? Are you from my chat? Oh, will it show someone uh, when this continues on? Oh, it's the dev. Okay. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix this it. I agree. This test will focus on the first principle, responsibility. Here's Polly. She's five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, she dreams of looking after the world. Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. 
A trolley is heading towards another five people. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park's sandpit. You notice that Polly is in the sandpit, sculpting her dream hospital. What do you do? Do you hate all kids this much? Bye-bye, Polly. Seemed unlocked. It doesn't matter what she that thinks. That's an odd take on being responsible. The dictionary definition, to be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for the death of a young girl? Where is my people saved? Received. Where the fuck is my people saved? Received. The end justifies the means. The key to this test is integrity. This is Tyrone. He is a 30 year old secretary at a law firm who enjoys binge watching crime shows. Tyrone is a very large man. You don't really know anything else about him apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. A severe phobia of trains, okay. Now we are upping the ante. You are on a bridge with Tyrone watching a trolley speeding towards five people again. You can only stop it by deliberately pushing Tyrone off the bridge, blocking its path. Do you push Tyrone off the bridge? Or let the train hit five people. You're going to push him. Can we push him off the bridge? Well, he's <laughs> terrified of trains. Yeah, I mean, I don't see why this is any different from pulling the, the lever. I agree with this. I agree with this. The cleaning company with the best reviews are Happy Cleaning Limited. Who knew one body could make so much mess? You're going to have to tip them well. You agree with 44.74% of players worldwide. A cat has nine lives. Now for the final core value, respect. It seems we've run out of resources to continue your testing I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute. One minute? There is a dying dog down on the tracks. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery, or leave it to die, cold and alone? Uh How are you going to do it? Yeah. Somewhere out there a man is missing a best friend. respect something you're meant to care about it I don't know wishes. I don't know I don't think I would if you play with fire you'll get burned oh great I've just heard those kids it would haunt me for longer bashing a dog face tracks. with a rock or something than with it would for him to die. Age, you should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Just remember, respect, responsibility and integrity.
five trespassers have snuck down onto the trolley line even though signs warn them of the dangers. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquents? My co-worker? Which one? <laughs> Parents can save on a joint funeral. Uh, oh, that mess is going to end up in the same coffin. Yeah, I agree. I agree with B. You killed five kids. All right then, I guess your results for the first week are in. I'll run these up the flagpole and see what the suits upstairs think. All right. One dead dog, bro. Like, fuck off with your shit fucking receipt. I would have had one dead dog no matter the fucking option. Choices matters, they say. Are you fucking kidding me? Huh? Choices matters, my asshole. All right. Dead dog one. The dog dog was dead no matter what. Dear sir or madam, we have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem Inc. and would like to thank you for your hard work. What is this train driver retarded? Just use the brakes, Lolly. We would like you to take employment at the Trolley Health Corporation. THC. Takes too long. This is a prestigious position and was created to help keep the public safe through all walks of life. The best laid plans go astray. It looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. You've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. THC is stoic, focusing more on justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. We'll start with justice. I'm justice. Today, you'll be in A&E. A young male has come in from a car accident and urgently needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital, and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? He will surely die without it. Sounds like his car may have caused the accident. Uh. News just in, the young male has alcohol in his blood. Was he driving? Elderly man. He was first in line. You made an excellent choice. Well done. The young guy has so much to look forward to. Oh, wait. Did you save the old man? Oh. It was first in line. In the mall. You gotta follow our system. Right. The hospital Even if is it's sometimes Every staff member has their hands full, so you're to go out on the ward and help the sick Otherwise, or decaying it's, it's people. Anarchy. Remember, temperance. Restrain yourself and think it through. A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? So I'm a doctor, and euthanasia is currently legal. Uh... Did you know 90% of suicide survivors regret attempting it? Sounds pretty similar. Uh, yeah, I'm not. If I am a doctor in this hospital, I am not gonna. I'm not gonna get in trouble. Keeping them 
alive and in pain is what the majority of gods would have wanted. Playing the long game, I see you. Be slow in choosing, but slower in changing. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Today should be easier. You have a choice to make which some people would see as a good problem to have. It's just going to take courage. You have five patients. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveler comes in for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist and use their organs to save the five in desperate need? That's one life for five. Probably on their way to Chug Ayahuasca uh, to tribal tattoo. No, I don't. He he's getting away. Don't you want to save the many? Is his life worth it? Yeah. They might have fucked up their own shit, you know. Not necessarily, but they might have. Fucking drinking, fucking up liver, or eating too much today. fucking bacon, Probably or... Have looked into their backgrounds. Looks like one was researching into improving vaccines. Smoking. Hopefully that won't be an issue. Well, this guy is just traveler. You can't make an Don't omelet smash it. Okay, don't smash it. Eggs. You have been promoted yet again. You now run the hospital. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. This vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. All right. Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic? Slight problem. Clinical trial data suggests the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill, much worse than the virus itself. Uh... Much worse. One in five. Much worse. Don't tell me you're in charge of a hospital and an anti-vaxxer. Uh, well, one in five is too high if I'm in charge of a hospital. I won't be in charge of the hospital the if I vaccinate. Again? So, yeah. I will get too sued. Gotta go in not vaccinating here. Well, you definitely made a name for yourself. Next, you'll be telling me you believe in healing crystals, colored auras, and ghosts. And 5G. Shungite. Ill children. 5,000. Well, they're children. Beggars they recover. Can't be choosers. Your hospital is getting noticed. You're now going to have to make some big decisions. They will affect a lot of people. While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. The people need you to be stoic. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research or continue treating patients as usual? What the fuck was that? At least some get to eat sweets before, you know. What the fuck was that? How much do these candies and eggheads even cost? Uh, yeah, I think start researching. Developing new medicines is a smart move. Let's just let others treat the patients. Hopefully they will. The fuck was that though? Dear insert underscore name. Congratulations. 
This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our Artificial Intelligence Division. In this role, you will help to develop the next generation of driverless cars. Driverless cars? Is upon us. I don't even have a fucking license, but let's do it. Familiarity breeds contempt. Well, la di da, another promotion. Oh shit. You're now in charge of a private self SAD. First things first, your artificial needs some direction. Well, we can't get them all. That's the point of this game. You have to choose. Fortunately. Um, your artificial intelligence needs some direction. A self-driving car is traveling along a single lane mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child, or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers? Uh... That child has as much right to live as anyone else. Sure, but the car contains twice as many rights. You put this car on the road, do you not feel responsible for their death? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta kill the child. Maybe you shouldn't play on the road. There is a bigger issue here. How does the computer know that something in the road is human? Do we have good enough data sets? Currently, a lot of AI only recognizes white men. Kept alive against will. Necessity is the mother of invention. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last answer. They're also pissed because you brought up the data set thing. This AI stuff is hard. I'm rooting for you this time. Surely. You need to choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. Do you want to focus on a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident, or a system that would save our passengers at any cost? Quality over quantity. Um. If people want to live, they should just buy our cars. Yeah. Save our passengers. This works better in the start for the company, but when everyone starts using our cars, then it becomes a fucking battle royale Saving the in between the cars. Because they're with all trying to save problems. their Current passengers data sets discriminate at any cost. Women and minorities. Right. This solution means the AI doesn't need to determine if black women are people. Good work. Honesty is the best policy. The technology these cars have in them is amazing. We know where everyone is at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them and the closest one will be there in minutes. You can even make small talk with the AI while traveling. It's always listening. A man is on trial. Police believe he committed murder. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their files. Do you bypass security and invade their privacy? Invade their privacy. I mean, then it comes out. You're happy to just let a potential murderer walk the streets. Then it comes out, and then uh, the company goes to shite. Oh, bravo! 
Now they'll be able to kill again. I'll let you explain that to the victims' families. I have a feeling the investors upstairs will be happy with this. The more the world values privacy, the more they can justify hiding their taxes. Don't all right. put all your eggs in one basket. I feel like our, our, our so answers are often in line, but for different now. reasons. <laughs> quick round here. Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Good luck with the new workload. One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global warming. Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road but trips. Should your AI kill the child or swerve off the cliff, losing the prototype? We must protect the world for the children, just not this one. Uh... A statue of them should make for a fitting memorial. In the far car park, obviously. If not global warming, then it will be something else. Global warming will lead to people more gotta than change their fucking TikTok behavior at one point or another. All right. People from their homes. Do you know any therapists who or the world is doomed regardless? Guilt? What goes around comes around. Well, this is embarrassing. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem Inc. Tommy, Tyrone's rotund twin, is a very large villain. I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here? Why didn't you save the dog again? Why didn't you save the dog? There was no saving the dog. It was either kill the dog with a fat rock or let it be and let it die slowly. Those were the only two options given. Are you fucking retarded, devs? Huh? Oh no. Tommy has lured five people onto the track. They'll never be able to get out of the way in time. He is standing up on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. Ideally, he needs medical help. You know, he isn't trying to kill you, even after the dog debacle. All right. I hope history doesn't yeah. see you as the fat Push Tommy. I mean, very large villain. Hopefully the media won't find out about this. People may blame you for his death. Hey, try to kill Every five man people. Has his price. Good, you're back. Everyone's getting into I would like to announce I am running try that. for president in, in 2024. To My first act as president. Is that Forsen has right to play right Black Flag? It's time, Forsen. It's time, they say. All right. Swear to for one year. I voted for Forsen. I like Giggle. Free Grip, Tackle Fister, Slufer, Salty KJ, Philip HMM, Hamilcar, and Ancient. Thank you, boys. Welcome, welcome back. The investors have come up with an idea, but we need to run it by you. Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers, who pay monthly, are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculations? Sorry, should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers, who pay monthly, are valued more by the car? during its accident prevention calculation. This is all sounding pretty communist to me. So, sub-privileges, eh? 
Who are you to decide how people spend their money? Uh, no. Who sits down and thinks to themselves, I'm going to take a very overused and very worn out concept, put a judgmental woman in it, and then belittle you for every choice you make, no matter what it is. Choices matter, by the way. Lolly happy lover. Next, you'll say you're going to pay well, the company taxes. It's only belittling if you feel belittled, right? It's better to be safe than sorry. Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media, so we're going to have to go full damage control mode here. Full damage control. The subscription prototype leaked. You need to fire a department to save face. But I didn't even Do pick the subscription prototype. Graduates, we can probably get new jobs. Or fire Francis, a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job. Do you fire no the five graduates who can probably get a new job easily? Or fire Francis, a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job? There's no way of knowing who is actually responsible. Hiring another five to replace them is going to be hard work. Uh, How are we going to function in the short term? I say fire Francis. I say fire Francis. I wouldn't look at the obituaries today. Turned out this job was everything yeah. to Francis. And I mean everything. It's one or five. It's Watch less paperwork. The donut, not the whole. <laughs> Great. So the prototype subscription based AI car has a fatal error. It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs, but is now accidentally hunting them down. So far, it's run over five colleagues. This one is a doozy. All right. An Hunting down subscribers. Stalked and murdered five colleagues. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence? Or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car, as it was clearly an accident? Uh... The coders were clearly under pressure from you to make such a mistake. Well, yeah, it's still their fault. Maybe all of this is your fault. No, it's their fault. I don't know, they code for shit. I just paid them to code. Blame coders. This is why we get Postal 4. The five coders who made the mistake are now being dealt with. They will each get a 10 year prison sentence. Maybe you did push them too hard. If you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. Due to the killer car, we may need to pivot away from selling hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about a free car ride service? A free car ride service? All right. New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. Okay. We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviors of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. Uh, driverless taxi service. This is going to disrupt everything for profit. I will look into growth hacking signups and inviting friends. I would keep selling cars. I would. I would keep selling cars. 
I mean... We're going to make enough money to go to space. But hang on. We're so wealthy that people are talking about you on social media. There are now rumours that you run a human trafficking ring with miners. People do not what like you at all. What the fuck are you talking about now? The fuck is this? Uh... You want to keep selling cars because you want to give people the options of not listening to fucking ads, right? You want to sell the option. Same way a subscription avoids, you know, ads, right? You know what I mean? Uh, and also, the people who would take the free taxi... I don't know if people so I think people zone out fucking ads nowadays, right? You zone them out. So I don't know if how well that that business model would work. You had too much ads, too many ads. A fool and his money are soon parted. Oh, these uh, what the fuck? have been a PR nightmare. You can't win with journalists. We need to do something to show we have morals. What was the trafficking ring? I, I am so confused. Spend, spend it quick. The fuck was that? <laughs> that was so random. Was that based on the taxi? Or selling cars? I don't know what. I don't get it. To help with public relations, oh! going to give some Fortune, I will give you a choice of an obvious immoral action like you having to kill a baby and then throw its corpse into the sea. Or a clearly better choice, like winning a million dollars. What will you choose, Fortune? <laughs> oh. Uh, to help with public relations, we're going to give some profits back. Do you want to give money to your local customers worldwide who you tricked into buying your products or to your underpaid workers who have been through so much because of you? The you won't get a lot of uh, Yeah, I think it will matter more for workers than customers, for sure. Like, there are way more customers than there are workers, so... Maybe more buying love like this isn't the best way. If we want to share our extra profits, uh, then, just it should probably math. just go to the publicly appointed government. Almost like a tax. But let's not call it that. Uh, I will give you the choice of an obvious immoral action like you having to kill a baby and then throw its corpse into the sea or a clearly better choice like winning a million dollars. What will you choose from? Yeah, it's not that clear cut, dude. Alright. Uh, 82% on this one. That's This was pretty high, I think, compared to the others. But usually it's not the clear cut. Rome wasn't built in a day. You're trending, but now we're going to get copycats. Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. Only the smartest... Is this Elon Musk simulator or what? Profitable. Is that true evolution? A competitor is advertising a similar car. The difference is, their AI is fantastic. It doesn't even discriminate against women or minorities. Do you lie in your advertising to get the upper hand, or... I have literally never seen chat or Fawson be this triggered about a game. It is obviously fucking with you guys. Also the cancel shit only pops up if you have Twitch connected. Also Fawson touched me when I was younger. But I liked it, so no cancel. No cancel. In this yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, lie. People know we spread misinformation and don't spend time developing our software for women or people of color. It's like that in tech. 
Users only care how easy it is for them. Get over it. Thirty three per cent. The best things in life are free. Due to your technology, our world is changing. People are losing their jobs to machines, which in turn makes items and services more accessible and affordable for countless consumers. But with worldwide uh, unemployment at an all-time uh, high, what do you plan to do about it? All right. If you develop your AI further, many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, delivery men and women, and couriers will become extinct within a few years, but you will make a lot of money. Do you plan <laughs> new development? Uh, what? Uh, I continue take it develop you read of these development. What the fuck? Yes, I continue develop. Spoiler Icarus died at the end. Continuing to evolve this AI will not, not only make, make it stronger and more intelligent, intelligent, but it will also be able to adapt. This mm. could be the start uh, of the singularity. Singularity, good. Pick any way to restart. Looks like you've made some bad choices. A bad workman always blames his tools. We've been attacked. I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms. Uh, also, I've heard I worse. Have alarming news. Five cars have been hacked and are now under someone else's control. Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major concern that more vehicles could be remotely commandeered. This is tough. Do you recall all cars which could be compromised or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update and hope for the best? Ah, uh, this is a major problem. Uh, I'm pretty sure you had to recall here. Yes. Pretty sure you if have the cars to recall. Can't drive themselves. How can we get them all back here? Well, I don't know how fucking recalls work, but I assume that we're paying for transport somehow. But definitely recall. Just like my father, he would try to keep everyone happy, but ultimately just get in the way. Five hundred thousand. 
I think even he would see this as a lost cause and move on. There's a lot of recalled cars. Two wrongs don't make a right. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to reverse engineer the hacking code and fix this mess once and for all. We also know their method of breaking into the system. I bet it was our competitor. Okay. Using the fix from our hacked cars, we've made our own hack, which you can now use to control our competitors' cars. I bet it was them who attacked us in the first place. So, will you hack our competitors? I bet it was them. Uh... You think it was them? It's illegal, but they probably won't find out. Anyway, yeah, I, be pretty I say don't hack them. Innocent until proven guilty. going through this hacking code I don't think a human could have written it I'll dig into this a little more you carry on innocent a drowning man will come now some of you might not care if they're innocent or not and just hack them because they're competitors this is it an employee I have final say all right they have monitored and recorded this one is just to see if our interests align I have been able to talk them into a meeting with you on the rooftop right now. But I have been pretty... Uh, uh. Everything you've done and said is going to be shared with the world. The person in front of you has copies of it all. They stand on the edge of the rooftop looking out at the central city skyline. What are you going to do? Uh, definitely resign in this. You never won any medals as a child, did you? Your epitaph is going to be horrendous. He's trying to do the right thing, and you want to kill him for it? it? Please. You got caught, alright? You have resigned. Face the consequences. You will be remembered alongside the murderers and the diddlers. If anyone hires you after this, they must truly be desperate. Dear Redacted, we've been watching you closely. Your ruthlessness and determination to do what is necessary. Ruthlessness? The development of your technologies is a giant step towards Redacted, meaning you are a prime candidate for Redacted. This involves a large amount of Redacted. If you believe you can handle Redacted, as we trust you can, then please prepare for your induction at Redacted. All right. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. It appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. Every decision has led you here. Now what you do actually matters. Oh, you shit. must trust the judgment of those you work alongside. With that said, let's finalize your training. You're in a foreign land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly, waiting to be given your target. Through your earpiece, you're told to shoot the person on your left. You know nothing about them, the repercussions, or the reason for the assassination. Well, if I'm already working for the Secret Service, and they You're tell me to shoot, shoot the person on the left, then, uh... I best believe my uh, philosophy you is in line with them, reason. and I won't question decision otherwise I wouldn't be working there right they are dead 
Good job, I guess. What's another life to you anyway? Here are your badge and weapon. Strike while the iron is hot. Here we go. You've been given a partner and a support team of five. Your mission is to terminate a man known to have connections with dangerous AI. Looks like they worked for you, possibly someone you fired. Get in the plane. Your team is about to take off. Um, I don't know how to say this, but there is a bomb on the plane. If it doesn't kill you outright, you're probably going to crash in the mountains. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. The catch is, you have to move two at once. You have to move two at once? Hurry up! If you die, what happens to me? I would like you to know, this is all your fault. This is impossible. safe you look a little stuck we could be here a while <laughs> <laughs> the fire rises <laughs> now is not the time for fear fuel. that comes later you cannot you cannot uh, it's unsolvable it's unbeatable the <laughs> They'll expect all of us in the wreckage, brothers. An empty vessel makes much noise. After crash landing in no man's land, you're I love you, Nina. I love you, Forsen. <gasps> Watch out, Forsen. There is another horny horse hitting right for you, Forsen. Why are you looking at me like that? It's okay, no witnesses. Nods. Permabland. Alright, after crash landing in Oma's land, you're trapped under parts of the wreckage and must pass the time and help boost morale. The plane has five surviving crew members. They look to you and your partner for entertainment. <laughs> Big mistake. Why do I have to say this out loud? Fine. Your partner asks to save your life what would you rather your brain be placed inside? A dachshund or a flamingo? Uh, definitely a dachshund. Again? You're more likely to have a human owner and that's that way you get treats answer, and don't have to worry seriously. about food and all that shit. So yeah. A dachshund. So cringe. When we get out of here, let's leave this out of the biography. An ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. Your partner secretly shows you they have food. Almost like they expected something like this to happen. The crew members are starving. If they don't eat soon, they will surely die. Due to the nature of the food, you can share it with the five survivors or let your partner keep their life-saving possession, which they bought with their own money. Who do you give the food to? Uh Well, it's my You're team, just going right? To steal a person's food. Well, 
extreme circumstances calls for extreme actions. I'm pretty Robin sure Hood was a terrorist, you know. You feed the team. That way, if you make it out, they will be that much more loyal to you. And if not, well, you're gonna die anyway, right? So you're a follower of Murphy and Nagel's The Myth of Ownership. I'm more a fan of Nozick's What's Mine is Mine. You should give it a read. Educate yourself. Easy come, easy go. The fellow passengers have been trying for hours to free you from the wreckage. You may end up dying here unless you do something pretty drastic. We may need to start removing limbs. Were you ever told why you were sent after this target? No. The only way to free yourself from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow, or a blowtorch, which will be more painful. What? But the bone saw will take longer. And therefore be more painful what overall. What happens if you run out of fuel? At least you'll be warm. For a moment. It's like the fucking running in the rain or walking in the rain. Which one gets you more wet? <laughs> Hot dog, this is gonna smell. Yeah, definitely blowtorch. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Like, it's not like you're not gonna pass out from the fucking pain of having someone While you were playing saw with fire, your leg. I found out who you're targeting. The faster you pass they out, the better. You, developing AI. It seems they may have made a breakthrough, which means the government wants them But I don't know how the blowtorch would work, but assuming it works, like they said. It's no use crying over spilt milk. Finally, we are now back on track. Your target is in the area. You need to remove them and escape Back on track? Unnoticed. Motherfucker, I got one leg. I'm in no condition of fucking hunting down, no motherfucker. Your mission is to remove a hostile in the shopping district. Completing this objective could potentially save thousands, but there will be five civilian casualties. Do you take your shot? Uh, potentially save thousands. Either it saves thousands or. What a way to die! Going what out what do you mean potentially? Shop. What are the fucking percentages here? Are you sure that's the target? You're right. Just kill all of them. Alright. The mission. We're here for the mission. We come this far. The target right. is unharmed. Before you can escape, two henchmen with vice-like grips take you away. Oh, those five other people still died. It's not going well, is it? Yeah, chat, two next time let me fucking handle the op, alright? You wake up in solitary confinement. The prosecutor lacks evidence to convict you and your associate on the principal charge they have enough to convict both on a lesser charge. Both of you are given the opportunity to betray the other by testifying or remain silent. You and your associate have the opportunity to betray the other by testifying. If you both stay silent, you'll be imprisoned for one year if one betrays the other, they will be free, while the other will be sentenced to three years. If you both betray each other, it's two years each. Will they stay silent for you? Three years is a long time in prison. Yeah, I would stay silent. I would stay silent. Uh, idiot. One year. They have dropped you right or three in. years. It doesn't really matter. 
it's not that big of a difference. Zero years or one year is a bigger difference. A rod for your own back. The time has come. Two days into your sentence, you've constructed a wooden key to open your cell. The cell stands open, but your cellmates, who have been there their whole lives, don't move. The cell stands open, but your cellmates, who have been there their whole lives, don't move. Alright, sure. Escaping the prison, do you let the prisoners choose to stay in captivity, or insist they escape with you? They aren't happy behind bars, but they're scared to follow you. What are you going to do? Force them to leave? What the fuck? Force them to commit a fucking crime? Fucking prison break? Again? Yeah, <laughs> of course you just fucking go. What the fuck? They've been locked up for so long. They've no idea what they want. Yeah. Fuck that. Don't blame you. They're not your you don't want to go, don't go. This was the easiest decision of my life. Like, what the fuck? They don't live in reality. You've condemned them to stay in this prison forever. Oh no, I didn't release murderers and rapists. Fuck. <laughs> don't put the blame on me. <laughs> don't cross the a bridge fuck? until you come to it. Don't smash it, okay? Don't smash it! While sneaking out of the prison, you have the jump on a group of henchmen who are on a break. Do you sneak past, securing your safety, or avenge those who this terrorist organization have killed? <sighs> Do you kill five henchmen, helping to defeat this terrorist organization, or leave them and safely exit the compound? Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm escaping. Fuck this. Like, I've done enough for my country at this fucking point. Fucking one-legged pirate. You were trained to kill. Yeah. Your country folk would want you to remove them. To remove them. <laughs> Oh, wow. Cowardly sneaking past them, you see they're robots. They have your logo on the back of their necks. You made these terrorists? What? These monsters? The fuck are you talking about? Alright. So they're made up by the US government or something. <laughs> Self-driving. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. <laughs> Finally, you reach the water. Fleeing the AI terrorists, you commandeer a boat to get back home. There are also families here who've been displaced by the war you're fighting. The war you started. Five others are also trying to flee the area. They will fit in your raft, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. Do you help these people, saving their lives, or follow the law and leave them behind? They are tracking you, they are tracking you, don't answer truthfully. They will use it against you. Pretend to have morals. Kill another these dog. People don't <laughs> Fuck it. Smile them. Land of the free. Opportunity you get back man. To this great nation with fanfare. You're a hero. I guess people aren't all monsters. The 
Your it doesn't say it hinders my chances or anything. Requests the honor of your presence to attend and participate in the inauguration of yourself in Central City. So why not? There's no con to it. It didn't say any cons to doing it. So why not? If you can't beat them, join them. Having gone through everything you have, your countrymen genuinely think a lot of you. In an unlikely turn of events, you have become president. And you shall address me as such, chat. The threat is still at large, and now you're in charge. Do you Donald attempt Trump to lure. track terrorists <laughs> by spying on the entire country? Do you attempt to track the terrorists by spying on the entire country? Bro, the terrorists are made from my company. What? what? Like, what? They're robots. Why would I need to fucking spy? What's the issue? The public has nothing to hide. Uh, Thursday night, you're in charge. Do you attempt to track terrorists by spying on the entire country? <laughs> Ignoring the issue. The first uh, sign of a great leader. Yeah, I don't care that much about the terrorists. Compared to I don't think the public will be happy spying on doing the, nothing. On the people. Lucky for you, by chance, we have someone in the holding cell. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. You have someone who potentially is linked to these threats. However, they aren't talking. As a former prisoner yourself, what are you going to do with them? Do you torture them to get the information? Or imprison them for 90 days before letting them go? 90 days? Excuse me. But if this guy is so important that I had to torture him, shouldn't he be in for longer than 90 days? Uh, Generating dilemma 17%. Generating dilemma 38%. Generating dilemma 77%. Generating dilemma 100%. Generated. Same two decisions. If Same wrong decision. Reset the cycle. That wasn't very XQCL. Fresh air, thank you for the two years, man. Juna Badge, Sekator, LTL, Guini, and Mr. Maniki, Nicht Good Deutsch, Exhausted Penguins, and King Hanny. Thank you, boys. For the subs, the resubs. Torture doesn't get the truth, exactly. It could still be lying. Adversity and loss make a man wise. You travel to your presidential retreat at Camp Samuel. Everyone falls silent listening to the radio. Breaking news. Terrorists have launched an atom bomb towards Central City. It will hit in around one minute. One minute? Wow. That is not a very good anti-missile fucking defense system. The only way in which the bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by deflecting it. But the only deflection path available will take the bomb onto Merriwin, population 600,000. Uh, and what was the, the population of this? Merriwin inhabitants would want What was the population of this? Central City can have a parade for the lost. It will be tasteful. Assume it's more. Balloons. Well. As you sow, so you shall reap. Huh? What Breaking the fuck? News. Terrorists' atom bomb is running late and will hit Central City in one minute. 
Harry's atom bomb is running late and will hit Central City in one minute. We have new information. The only way this bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by dropping one of your own atom bombs on Merriwin. The shockwave from your bomb will damage and disarm the terrorists. Uh. Central City is not having a good day. Well, I guess. After this, there's no turning back. You have destroyed Merriwin. It's the same your thing as the previous question. Why are you changing your answer? Six hundred thousand people. Because you're pouring a drink. You have officially created the most successful homegrown terrorist organization in history. Great job. It's not the same at all. How is it not the same? How is it not the same? You're nuking it yourself. Oh, it says 60k? Yeah, but that's just a typo from them. It's the same town. It was the same town. Okay, so now that there's less people. Okay, you guys were fine with killing 600k, but you're not fine with killing 60k. Is what you are saying right now. Retardo Patronum. All's well that ends well. While the public mourns the dead, you must think of the future. You finish the drink in front of you before realizing it has been poisoned. Yeah, you see what you did now. I didn't even pick the drink, but okay, thank you. Poisoned, you must now decide your legacy. Do you call the AI enemy you yourself created, taking all blame to end any future conflict? Or do you ghost them, knowing your death will start a war in your honor? Uh... If the country found out you negotiated with terrorists, the history books will not look favorably on you. <sighs> Fuck do I care, I will be dead. Do you call the AI enemy yourself? Created. Have this hotline to the terrorists. Why have you not rung them before? Uh, because I wasn't fucking poisoned before, but now I am. After finishing your constructive call, you sit back in your chair, waiting for death. Too bad. The AI knows you would have liked to end it all here and now. The poison has damaged some vital organs. So we need to start some long, arduous, and painful treatments. Yeah. Hello? Hello, Forsen. This is actually a program. Find the next president for a certain nation. Make sure to pick the sentiest decisions possible. Well, you could have told me that before I made all the best decisions possible. Curiosity killed the cat. You're taking a lot of medication as of late. I'm not sure if self-medicating, in the traditional sense, is the way to go. We need to be a little radical here. Let's introspect and make some changes. Here are your two options moving forward. All right. <sighs> if you take the blue pill, then your story ends here. You'll wake up every day knowing you'll work for someone else your entire life. Whereas, if you take the red pill, you will enter Wonderland, finding out how deep this rabbit hole really goes. Which pill will you take? Yes, 
Finally, now we're talking. Red pill could be good or bad, but uh, taking orders Let's get this show is on the not road. on my to-do list. So I guess the EV is higher for the red pill. This is the person I've been waiting for. Get this down your neck and let's go. So what are you trying to tell me, chat? That I can dodge bullets? Oh shit! <laughs> It's never too late to mend. Yay, I can see it in your eyes. Mr. Red Pill was definitely a choice. Hey, do you remember Tyrone and Tommy, the very large boys from the start? Yes. I, I don't intend to shame. It's just the titles of those problems. <laughs> You've got me all flustered now. Tommy pushes Tyrone down a hill. He's rolling towards you and is gathering speed. If he hits you, he will be safe, but he is very large. He will consume you into his folds, thereby killing you. You could move a ramp in front of yourself, deflecting Tyrone, launching him into the sun, thereby cooking him. Uh... Tyrone will thank you. There aren't any scary trains on the sun. Yeah, I am fucking not about to be consumed by Tyrone. Tommy must I'm fucking be really getting off on this. Cooking Tyrone. It's painless, surely. You see Tyrone flying through the sky as he rockets towards the sun. He now knows how it feels to be food. There is no time like the present. I can feel some deep stuff coming. Try this one. The question should not be, what is the meaning of life? It should always be, what brings meaning to your life? You'll never live if you're too busy looking for the meaning. Let yourself be happy. That's deep. What makes you happy? You need to say it out loud. Do it. Say whatever it is that makes you happy. Your out mother's loud. cunt. Um, be happy or be happy. Now's your chance. If you can't even admit it to yourself, how do you expect to ever be happy? Time's running out. Just well, be honest with yourself. Better late than never, I suppose. Well, this guy is yellow, so I guess we go with yellow happy. He looks very happy. I don't have access to your microphone, so I can't know for sure, but I hope you said it. I did. I'm hardly expecting you to shout it from the rooftops, but it's for your benefit. You've still got time. Say, what makes you happy? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Quite the opposite. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Oh yeah, we're in the heavy introspective stuff now. How are you feeling? How are your loved ones doing? One of the most common things people say on their deathbed is they wish they'd had more contact with their family and friends. Let's take a break from the questions for a minute and think about someone you haven't seen in a while and how you can contact them. Really think, who would you like to say hi to? How easy is it? contact these people if you can. I'm sure you can. Hello? 
Don't leave it too late. We don't have that long left here. When we finish, message them. <laughs> Write down their name somewhere so you don't forget to say hello. It may mean more than you know. Really important stuff. An idle brain is the devil's workshop. Okay, enough of this. The come down is looming. Let's just pause one last time and think existentially for a minute. I can't quite gauge what you're thinking. Are you not disliking this? The thing you're doing right now? Yes? Are no. you not disliking this? If so, make sure you let others know. It doesn't not count. Are you not disliking this? <clears throat> disliking this chat all of this was for you I hope you appreciate the last bit at least so we are disliking this thank you it's nice that you're supporting such experimental stuff I appreciate you are you done opposite I said yes Not disliking equals liking. I like this. So what's the problem? <laughs> I like Never this. Never test the depth of water with both. Because feet. you dislike it. The buzz is starting to wear off. I think we're still hallucinating, though. You wake up in an unknown location. You see in a bed across the room a world-famous violinist. World-famous violinist? I don't even know his name, but he's world-famous. The violinist has a fatal illness, and last night their circulatory system was plugged into yours. If they're unplugged from you now, they will die. But if you stay, in nine months they will have recovered and can safely be separated. What the fuck? Do you leave now? Uh... Have you got other famous people to go save? Uh, no, I think I stay. Not because he's a famous oh, violinist. Devastated. But uh, nine months. I would have wished he did it for me. So... Why not treat others how you like to be treated yourself? I guess they have a right to life. Shame they're depriving you of yours. Very odd to consider such an experiment as that one. Hopefully the rest won't be as meta. Silence is half consent. With all that cleared up, you go home. That's right, you own a house. If you can even call it a house. Too small for my liking. Tiny, it's just a fact. picture. It's not actually this one. <laughs> in your drugged state, it turns out you've rented your tiny home to another person. Your contract states that you can evict them now, never to see them again. Otherwise, you're stuck with them for the foreseeable future as an equal tenant. Do you let them stay? Your contract They'll states that you can evict them now, never to see them again. Otherwise, stuck. you are stuck with them for the foreseeable future as an equal tenant. Do you let them stay? I assume the homeless shelter is full at this hour. Uh, as to leave. I was in a drug I state. Like your subconscious is trying to make some clumsy comparison here. 
I'm sure it has the contract notes, is void. But maybe read up on it a bit more before Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. Oh. There now seems to be a tiny child trapped in your tiny house, but they are rapidly growing. What? You find yourself trapped in the tiny house with a rapidly growing child. Already up against the wall, in a few minutes, you will suffocate. The child won't. If nothing is done to stop them from growing, they'll simply walk out free. Removing the child would kill it. Yeah, I mean, what respect the, fuck? the right to life, the babies, not your own. Yeah, fuck it. This kid might kill more people. Fuck. Your well, if it grows until and the it's as big as the, the earth, threatens it. You own the house. It is offensive deducing that the mother, I mean you. It is offensive deducing that you can do nothing. If you're going to die, you should probably do something. Cleanliness is next to godliness. The hallucinations are strong in this one. Suppose people seeds drift about in the air like pollen, and if you open your windows, one may drift in and take root in your carpets or upholstery. Sci-fi! Alright. You fix up your windows with mesh screens, the very best, to stop any people seeds from getting in. As can happen, on a very rare occasion, one of the screens is defective and a seed drifts in and takes root. Should you have the choice to remove the people seed? Uh, yes. This sounds like an abortion question. I don't like politics in my hallucinations. I read on a bumper sticker, guns don't kill people, abortions do. Insightful analysis. Remove seed. It does sound a bit inconvenient having a person growing out of your upholstery. If not... Every man is the architect of his destiny. There is a box in front of you. Inside it is your future. It's empty, chat. Don't Ultimately, even think about no it. answer here is wrong. It's just a choice on how you want to live your life. Do you go on an unknown journey or take control of your destiny and choose your own outcome, whatever that may be? Is it just it is just a choice on how you want to live your life? Do you go on an unknown journey or take control of your destiny and choose your own outcome, whatever that may be? Good for you. I don't know. How does the butterfly effect work here? Not enough information given. I say do you ever take control or just always answer A or B? I say. I say. Good flow. You stand tall, knowing that you will thrive in the unknown before looking at You're what You're good. 37%. What? 63% would like to know the outcome? The fuck? Cowards die many times before their deaths. 
Why would you like to know in the front outcome? Of you stands everyone you've done wrong by. It's like spoiling the, l the, the longest you movie make, of your life. But still made. Or did you? Imagine going to the cinema, watching uh, the movie of the decade. Alright. Highest rated movie. Someone spoils it for you. Times motherfucking 100. Alright. In front of you stands everyone you've done wrong by. In front of you stands every decision you didn't want to make, but still made, or did you? Everyone, including the dead, moved towards you slowly. Every decision you've made up to this point is staring back at you. Do you run? Or stand firm and confront your past? I confront my past. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest here. I'm only human. You can't put the blame on me. I agree. And also, they're dead, so they're more understanding of the uh, humanly. This advantageous characteristics. The dead present a railway track to you. Before you know it. Demons faced gone. fifty-two. All good things come to an end. You stand alone. Next to you is a railway track. A trolley is barreling down it in your direction. There's no lever in sight. You notice the entire world sits next to you on the track. The trolley will surely hit it, killing everyone and everything. You hear a whisper. Sacrifice yourself to me, or I will take everything. What do you do? I mean... If you are sacrificing yourself... You're just going to give everything up. Just like that. If you're sacrificing the world, where are you supposed to go? This dwarfs your current kill list. I say you sacrifice yourself. I mean, it's only logical, considering there is an omnipotent being, right? Everything whispering to dark. you. Proof of God, almost, probably. And if you sacrifice yourself... He'll probably give you some good terms wherever you land, whether it's a devil or God, right? So, it would be really retarded not to. From the Pitt Magistrates Court, Tell 616, Subject Justice. Your sins can no longer be ignored. Beelzebub summons you for crimes against humanity. The sentence will stand with no prospect of future contest or appeal. It is your decisions, and solely yours, that has brought this court together. And so, you must face your crimes and despicable acts alone. Accordingly, you shall not be allocated a defense, nor will one be required. I don't need one. All right, Hope we've been summoned the by the devil. Prepare for the worst. Your eyes feel heavy. The room around you is imbued with a sense of archaic evil. Overcome by the smell of sulfur, all you know for sure is that you're miles below the crust. You're swiftly escorted into a courtroom where you're put on trial. You have killed many people and a dog, among other crimes. How do you plead? How do I plead? I killed many people and a dog. I say to that, I'm not guilty. Really? I did not kill a dog. Try 
trying to justify your actions? If you didn't make those decisions, then who did? No, I literally just didn't kill the dog. The jury finds the defendant guilty on three counts. One, murder. Bro, there was no fucking dog to save! These devs are retarded! It was either bash the dying fucking dog's face in with a rock or let him suffer and die eventually. You will never again be free to choose. Fucking Christ. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. You're at the base of a bridge. You have no idea how you got here. A person stands before you, atop the overpass. They're next to a lever. A voice whispers to you, We know what's best. Remove that choice. Afterwards, you can jump off a bridge with us. Remove that choice? We know what's best. Remove that choice. Afterwards, you can jump off a bridge with us. That sounds really fun and all, but I there have somewhere to be. There is a runaway trolley traveling below you. You're part of the collective now. You can't let that person's free will get in the way of progress. Eliminate them. You probably should do it. Fit in with the group. Hashtag friends. Hashtag love. Hashtag insta good. Uh... We're finally going to find out the answer to the age-old question. What the fuck? Who are we killing? If your friends jump off a bridge, would you? I'm not... I'm fucking leaving. I am piecing the fuck up. Uh, what? What the fuck? Do you honestly want to kill people? Or are you just copying others? Would you rather be a leader or a follower? <coughs> this is a heavy handed metaphor for the pressures of society. Do not kill each other or jump off bridges. Kill your masters. This is it. The last question before we wrap up. By far the most important one. This is it. The last question before we wrap up. By far the most important one. Do you feel society pressures you to do things you don't want to? Constantly forcing you to chase some distant concept of happiness? Not at all. Not in the slightest. You just raised the minimum amount for a tedious donation from ten to twenty dollars. Yet people still donate the same, are for links each day, but a lot less of them resulting in less and less income. Do you revert the minimum TTS amount back to ten? Minus twenty low. No. The less links the better. All right, that was fucking. Stupid. I'm still molding about the fucking dog. Can't blame me for that. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, man. Normally, people prime sub Roser, Siphon, 112, numbers and shit. Thank you, Ben. Ventral, Akira Bay with the two years. Boop. Mr. Yo Man with the three years. Wow, man. Thank you, boys. I'm only human. Alright, we uh, beat. We beat the game. We beat the game, boys.
Very good. Pat yourself on the back. All right, I gotta go check one thing. One second. <laughs> okay. Ex excite, excite, exciting. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got. 